Hello, I'm John Soy, the artist. So today I try to do plan for the art. So use art as medicine. So the question is, how uh, art become medicine? Actually, the art itself, the process of creating uh, for artists, so it's like medicine. Also, after the creating and the message itself and the uh, continuation of the message, that's like medicine. So just like, uh, you know, extreme or not extreme, you know, very quiet. So sometimes for healing. So example, you know, if the people who are so anxious, so even the one who do cut the canvas like me uh, doing already, and uh, if you cut the canvas, actually you go one extreme the others. So the people, if they are so anxious, so they are go with the cutting, so go with the extreme. So actually when you go extreme, so they're going to bounce them down. So actually this is good for the people who have anxiety. The other thing is, even for the people who depress, if you cut the canvas or you actually you stimulate, so the, uh, the, the, the weakness or the, uh, the depressed condition. So actually, so they balance their physical condition and the healing that way too. Of course, they have more. So like the, with the healing process, a lot of things is hard, cannot, impossible to use language to completely describe. So here, like, I'm going to do some of those tight up and uh, the reason is the tidying, untidying. So that's like a medicine itself. So when you are tidying, obviously when later on you you craving uh, more about untidying, and uh, so that's why like you don't tidying. So you when you're not tidying, actually you're craving more tightening. So that's how the things goes. You know, like yin and yang the opposite and uh, then they create a different move. Of course, see here, I really don't know exactly how the, the ropes going, but that's the beauty about it. I don't want to know. If you know, actually, so, so you judge by your uh, brain, so you constantly, you know, you make your, uh, use your experience, or use uh, whatever the art you see before to make a judgment to try to create this art. Actually, if you don't uh, to see it, then actually you you make things happen, follow the flow, like the universe uh, with the, create the energy itself. So that's why this my ways. Of course, it's not the only way, but a different way to create art. So. So become interesting. So for me, you know, to start uh, use black hole to create art, use uh, not the sea. So actually you, you have more freedom. And also when you blindfold it, you're not judged by your own eyes. Of course, you're not judged by anybody. And uh, or uh, judged by uh, the one, the artwork you see before, or Picasso, or Van Gogh, or different artists. So the whole idea, you do this way, I find uh, it's very relaxing and uh, no judgment, uh, whatever. And uh, at the same time, so they create the different arts, and uh, surprisingly, uh, unusual, and uh, because just like the God created uh, uh, nature, so the universal energy, so they don't to prejudge. They don't uh, try to say, okay, they want to make a trees this time, the other time they want to make a stone, the other time they want to make water. So they actually creating, you know, you need to create art like a God create nature. So actually an artist, so the real creating, it's more like a God. Artist is a, if you use other words, you can be much more closer to God, or you can be a God because you're creating. 
the creativities, so make you more unique. And uh, that's how you really be an artist. So artists is not really a matter of uh, trying to copy the gods creating or you see they already have a tree there or stone there or somebody else's eyes or nose and their clothes they dress. So it's not all about, the, about that. So of course, you know, many years uh, different artists do different things creating, then they say that they are improving a little bit, and or they just uh, use a different way to say they are not copying, but actually they do copying. Just like they, a few thousand years ago, when they began the work to make a pottery, so this can be art, because this pottery is very unique. and. Uh, and also special, but many years later, so if you're going to try to copy the, you know, the, the pottery from a few thousand years ago, and that's not creating anymore. So that's more like a copy. So that's what's, uh, you, you lose the creativities. And uh, also, when you use your eyes, to create art, so you lose a lot of creativities because you put your too much your personal uh, judgments by what you see, what you know, and uh, actually the unknown. So more have more, way much more things and uh, interesting things. That's why they call art. The art is creating, but not the half. So it's not the you creating, try to do. You already know what they have. So if they already what they have, that's not art. That's just, uh, you, you can enjoy what you do. Just like uh, people, you know, try to copy some flowers, make something. Uh, interesting and uh, make them happy and go ahead and do it, you know, just a different process. But the real creativity is uh, you create something not exist, not a habit, and uh, unknown, unnamed, unexpected. So that's where the creativity come from. That's where uh, where I enjoy the most and uh, because in this way I keep doing use the universal energy time space and the things that happen happen by reason then they create different art I think uh, I think I have uh, almost finish here. So that's why you just feel when you want to stop. And uh, nobody really require you to stop or your eyes to judge you say that to stop. And that's the best art because the time, space, the universal energy make things happen right at that moment. So that's how the art being created. Okay, let me see what's the these things happen. Okay, let me see. I can see how the arts work. Okay, and keep tidying, doing. Okay, so I think I have enough to see what's going on here. Oh, action is pretty unique. See this this one? I just finished it. Uh, 